Hey everyone, welcome back to Up North with the Nybergs. Ed here. It's uh, starting to look a lot like the end of fall, and it is. It's uh, getting close to the end of October. And today, what I am continuing to do is to work on the wood, the new wood boiler project. And as you've uh, seen, we've been able to get the new one all set and placed here. Now, today, what I'm gonna try and work on is I'm replacing a, uh, a light pole, one in the back, one in the front for the light switch for that pole, and also the power to uh, the wood boiler. I'm also gonna put the chimney on today, and then uh, later on, what we hope to do is, I'm waiting for a fitting or two for the plumbing to finish out the plumbing, and hopefully that comes this week. I am gonna try and see if I can uh, go into town, go into Traverse City and see if I might be able to find that particular PEX fitting so that I can button everything up this weekend. Uh, the problem has been I've ordered uh, some parts and they just haven't arrived and they haven't shipped even. I haven't even gotten a notification. So, uh, so that's what I'm doing today is just trying to get as much done as I can on the new wood boiler uh, so that we can hopefully next week start uh, filling it up and, uh, and uh, you know, testing it out, make sure it's not leaking. Uh, so hopefully we can start doing some of that stuff. Uh, it's really nice today. Today's gonna be up in maybe close to 70 today, which is surprising. We had nine straight days of rain and in the low uh, 40s and upper 30s. So it's been nasty. So I'm gonna try and take advantage of this nice weather and hopefully knock out a few things. So uh, stick around and uh, you can come along and, uh, and watch the progress. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this four by four that I had. Uh, it's pressure treated, so I wanna take that and utilize it. It was extra, uh, I actually had these for when I moved this uh, uh, carport down here for wood storage. And so they've been down here for a few years. But I want to measure, I'm thinking maybe seven feet is going to do it because I might add some lights to this later. So let's see here. So right about there is where I want to cut it. All right, so once again, I'm gonna use this Sika post fix material that I've used before. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can get this at any of the big box stores. And I've used it before for my Starlink post um, up, up closer to the house and, and I like it. So it's easier than you know, hauling concrete down here, uh, the water, uh, the bags and things like that. Uh, this post, I'm replacing one that was right here before. And I'm gonna decide here real quick if, if seven feet is a little too long, I may cut it back here. But uh, as long as I have room to get into the uh, to the boiler and I can come down turn this light on the switch right here 
is gonna be mounted on this post. Like I said, I may cut this back, but I also may, uh, because I have power here, I also may put a light here as well that uh, illuminates uh, all of the, the wood storage. I currently have one over here. Uh, that post is rotten uh, or rotting, and so I'm gonna replace that. So I'm gonna leave it at this height, I think, and then if I decide to, to trim it down, uh, at least I'll, I'll, I'll have the, the excess to be able to do that. So, uh, so let's get this, this set into the ground here real quick. This is about where I want it uh, as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the instructions one more time. Uh, if you've never used this before, all you do is uh, like on, down on the ground, uh, if you have a flat surface, this will work over here as well too, but you, you can rub this on your knees a little bit to get it, uh, once you break the seal in here to get it activated, there's two pieces uh, or two compounds I should say in here, and there's a seal in the middle here, and I'm sure you can't see that, but there's a seal in here that you burst when you're ready. Uh, and then you literally just pour it in. It's amazing how, how, how much of a gap or how uh, deep of a hole that this material can actually uh, fill up. It's definitely, uh, they give you a lot in here, so you gotta be careful a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up. Should put some gloves on here. And instead of my decent knife. I think I'm going to get, if I brought one, another pair of scissors or uh, maybe some tin snips or, or something where I can cut that real quick. Yeah, these will work. These will work fine. All right, let me clear it out here a little bit. Make sure that I get all the loose leaves and everything on here. I'm just gonna lean it up against here. Okay. It's pretty straight, actually leaning right up against the concrete slab. It's almost impossible to do with gloves on. But I'm gonna try it. So you just roll it up till you get to right here, and then it's gonna break that seal the more pressure you put on it. And then you just mix it back and forth for a little while. You can, you can feel it actually heating up. I think you do it uh, just about 20 seconds or so. You can actually, f f I have shorts, so I can actually uh, feel the heat. And then you trim the corner here. And then slowly. Pour it in. And there it goes. It's starting to activate. You can you can't see it, but let's see here. There we go. Right up there. Yeah. 
right about there. Just gonna hold it there just for a second. I'll show you here in a minute once it takes hold of the post and I no longer have to hold it. And it still wants to move a little, so I'm gonna continue to hold it here. Starting to bubble up over the top. You know, I wonder if this material actually, even though this is treated wood, treated lumber, I'm wondering if this actually helps in that regard as well. Uh, keeping it f even from rotting uh, even quicker. I haven't really looked at that and I haven't checked online to see if anybody has had any experience with that or what the company says. They probably don't uh, address it. Okay, it's getting, yeah, that looks good. That's just about perfect. Okay, you could probably see it bubbling up now over the top. And what's good, nice about this is uh, just with an X-Acto knife, uh, you can actually just cut this off uh, with either a you know a hacksaw or just a regular uh, knife will do it. That's what I've used in the past, but uh, it sets up pretty quick. And just to show you, here's the, the package. I've used it before. Uh, it says it sets as fast as three minutes. And I don't doubt that, it's pretty fast. Okay, while we're waiting for the post to, to set up, we're gonna go ahead and start working on these two chimney sections here that will go on the back of the central boiler here. Uh, they will go up and there's a, a band that goes up here. And then uh, the second section of the chimney will go on this first one and it'll extend uh, pretty far up. Uh, but the first thing we have to do is we have a rope seal. And so what, what we need to do is put some uh, silicone or they call it a fiberglass uh, stove gasket cement. And this can withstand up to 2000 Fahrenheit uh, degrees. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this on just like this. Put that uh, silicone down here. Uh, I'm holding the phone so it's a little difficult to uh, to be able to show you how that goes on there, but it just goes around there pretty easily after I put the silicone down. That gets turned upside down and then we place it right there. We band it in and then uh, we don't have to put one on here, a gasket, a rope gasket. Uh, it just sits on top and then these little uh, indentations here, you'll just screw that or it kind of has a screw type uh, mechanism where you just turn it and it'll it'll fit snugly uh, right on the first uh, section. So that's uh, what we're going to work on now. Okay, you can see the rope gasket in there. Uh, I tried to film it, but it was uh, just not working on the position of the camera. So uh, it kind of was a bloody mess, to be honest with you, <laughs> putting in that silicone or that black cement uh, I, we got these tubes a couple of years ago and I think they're uh, probably on their end of life here. So it, it, it didn't come out real smooth. So I just took a little spoon and just kind of moved it around here and it looks like it's uh, sealing up pretty nice. So uh, the next step is to, I'm gonna let that set just for a little bit here, flip it over and then we're gonna start to mount it on the back end of the boiler. All right, so 
The first thing we need to do is remove this uh, chimney slide. It's this piece right here. This will go uh, push against the chimney to get it, make it nice and uh, secure uh, once it's uh, set up here. So we'll put that right there. I have to remove these. Oops, these just pop out. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, I got five of them. See if I can find it here real quick. If there is a screw involved, I am going to drop it. And I'm usually gonna drop it in a place that you cannot get at or find. That's just uh, the nature of the beast. Here it is. All right, I did not think I was gonna find that, so great. All right, let me uh, take a look at the instructions again. Unfortunately, my battery died on my remote microphone, so hopefully I didn't say something too meaningful. Anyway, this last part of the process was to assemble the two sections of the boiler chimney on the back of the wood boiler. I did decide to wait for some help to position the top section. Believe it or not, these are a lot heavier than they look and they're pretty cumbersome for just one person. Here are a couple of pictures of the two sections assembled. Okay, so this uh, is pretty much what I wanted to accomplish today and also for this video. Now, back to waiting for the parts needed to hook up the plumbing part of the installation. So hopefully those come sooner rather than later. I hope to create a video detailing that part of the process. If you want to see that part or if you find any value in these videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and as always hit the like button as well. This is a signal to Google that some people find some value in these videos. Please be sure to leave any comments or questions that you may have. We always appreciate you watching and more importantly we appreciate you commenting as well so until the next video this is ed with up north with the nybergs